Hello and welcome to Droix. Back by popular demand, we are taking a look at some more games running on the One X player. Thanks to everyone who suggested games to try. We do not have all of the games, but we included as many as we can. We are playing the games on the i7 1165G7 model running at the default 20 watts TDP. You can of course increase the TDP for higher performance, but we are keeping it at the standard settings. We hope to have the final 1195G7 processor model very soon. It will perform faster than this model, so we will be checking out the performance differences with some new videos once it arrives. We start with the recently released Psychonauts 2, which I've been waiting a long time to play. I was playing all weekend and the game performs great on the One X player. You can run on low settings just fine, or if you want to experiment a little, then a mix of low and medium settings for a stable 60 fps. This should work fine in most areas of the game. Ori and the Blind Forest was suggested in the comments. There's not a lot in terms of graphic settings, but they are all on the highest settings. The game runs at a solid 60 fps, so you can increase the screen resolution if you wish to. Next we have Gears 5. We have this on all low settings and overall get a pretty good 60 FPS for the most part. The game still looks great at the lowest settings. You could drop the frame rate to 30 and increase the graphics a little or increase the TDP and increase the graphics higher but it would purely be for visuals. Something a little less demanding now with Tetris Effect. We have all the graphic settings to maximum and it remained at a constant 60 FPS. We did not play far enough if the later stages add more background effects. This might cause some performance issues but you can easily drop a few of the settings to high or medium to compensate. The recently released Quake runs perfectly. We have all the graphics on maximum and it's smooth as silk. You can easily increase the resolution with no issues. It looks and plays great. Twelve minutes is running at twenty five sixty by fourteen forty resolution, and there's a few graphic settings which have been set to the highest. As you can see, the frame rate is hovering around the forties to fifties, so lowering the resolution a little to say ten eighty p will provide a more stable sixty fps. Recompile is a fairly new game which is quite interesting. We have this run in with the few available default graphic settings on medium and low. It remains mostly at a constant 60 FPS so you could increase the graphics and or the resolution to higher. Stardrift Evolution is a fun racing game that I've been playing recently. By default the display and graphic settings need to be changed as it starts in a weird resolution but once corrected you can run at ultra settings just fine and also increase the resolution if you wanted to. Tomb Raider at 20 watts TDP even at the lowest settings won't get you a reliable 60 FPS. This is definitely one game that requires a bit more power to run smoothly. You could drop the frame rate to 30 and increase the graphics a little or increase the TDP to 30 and increase the graphics here and there as well. As mentioned at the start of the video, we hope to have the final i7 model with 1195G7 processor very soon. 
we will be checking out the performance differences with some new gameplay videos to see how well it performs in the final product. We will also be checking out some emulators to see how well it emulates higher end consoles. That wraps up our brief gameplay video for the One X player. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to see our new videos with the latest gadgets. And we hope to see you back in our next video.